Hi you guys, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I'm super excited for today's video because what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do something just like this. Very exciting. So I, um, let's see, I have this uh, Ivy Espalier. I've been getting tons of questions about it. You guys seem to really like this. I love this, I absolutely love it. And then I also have my Honeysuckle Espalier over on the side of my house. And that is the one that I submitted to Laura, Garden Answer, and they feature it on her channel and I think a lot of you guys are here because of that feature on Garden Answer so thank you and welcome and thank you Laura and Erin um, so I have been getting a lot of questions about how I do the espalier and you know I've kind of explained it to you guys I've showed it but it's just hard to see unless you do it you know step by step so what I'm gonna do today is my friend Olivia just moved well she didn't just she bought her house they bought a new house and um, it's a beautiful Beautiful, super super cute house they've done a fabulous job with the inside and now they're starting to work on the outside and she told me that she wanted to do something like this in her narrow side yard and she wanted to do ivy and so I told her that I could help her with it and asked her if I could film it and she said that that would be totally fine so she's actually at work today so she's not gonna be in the video um, but hi Olivia and thank you for letting me do this <laughs> for your yard um, one thing I do want to say to you guys is this is English English Ivy. Just remember that, right? English Ivy likes to grow and English Ivy likes to take over. So do not plant English Ivy expecting to just let it go and not have to maintain it and not have to watch it and all that kind of stuff. Um, I always just like to tell people that about the English Ivy and then about the honeysuckle as well. Um, it can take over and you kind of want to stay on top of it. So I haven't touched this really maybe once or twice this year um but last year i would in the, you know in the middle of the season i would come out about once a week and i would just cut off you know a, a couple of the crazy pieces that were sticking out just to keep it um managed and then also if any runners were coming out at the bottom on the ground I don't want it to cover any of the ground area so I would cut those off too so this is definitely not a low maintenance garden project this is something that you guys are gonna have to maintain and watch or else it's just gonna become like you know one solid hedge on the side of your house so just wanted to say that to you guys so right now I have to get my car and go to Home Depot because I need to buy her some ivy and then I also need to buy the wire what I do is I do an eye hook in each corner right and then I connect it with some wire some kind of heavy gauge wire that I use these gloves and I wrap it around and have wire cutters and everything like that you'll see when I show you but I need to go get some of that and then I can show you exactly what kind I do and then the eye hooks I just got off of um, uh, Amazon. I just found some off of Amazon. And I did get the stainless steel kind, which are rated for outdoors. Um, but I do have to say the ones I used here and the ones I used on the side of my house, I, di I didn't even pay attention to what kind they were. I don't think they were stainless steel, but we are so dry here. Um, and this is, has an overhang, so I'm not really too worried about it getting too much moisture on it. But if you guys live in, er in an area that gets more rain than we do, or more humidity than we do, then definitely look for the eye hooks that are outdoor rated so that they don't rust. So hopefully that helps. Let's go to Home Depot and we'll find the wire and the ivy. house I'll show you guys in a second um, so my plan is is to just go through all the steps and show you guys one by one and I like to think of this as four steps I feel like that's an easy way to think about it you want to measure you want to drill and put in your eye hooks you want to hook up your wire and then lastly you want to plant and start training so just four things to do this espalier it's pretty easy um, I think the hardest thing is probably measuring because you just want to make sure that the size of the diamonds or whatever shape you want to choose 
uh, fits the area and then you want a, at least one point to be semi close to wherever you're going to plant because that's where you want to start training it up. So let me show you her side yard. It's funny. I, um, I, I guess I've featured a lot of side yards on this channel so far, <laughs> which is, you know, it's funny that I'm doing, I did my neighbors last week and then I'm doing this one um, and I've done mine. So it's just kind of a funny thing. I like doing side yards. I think it's just a space that we always try and ignore and just throw our trash cans back there. But how fun is it to add something that's really easy, it's not expensive, and then you can make it beautiful for yourself. So let me show you Olivia's narrow side yard. Okay, so I opened the fence and here's her side yard. She normally has her garbage cans right here. I just moved them out. So it's pretty nondescript. It's kind of like my side yard or my neighbor's side yard. It's nothing interesting, right? But she does have this little spot where she has some soil. You can put some plants in there. And then she does have this fence. And so she thought that an espalier would look really pretty on it. And I totally agree. So I would say it's probably about four or five feet wide this way. So um, not a lot of room to work with. It's not like you can put big bushes there that would just take up too much room. And then this fence, I would say it's not the most sturdy thing. Um, it does have one board that's going here and then one other board that's going on the bottom. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the big diamonds instead of the little diamonds because I don't think this fence is sturdy enough to support that for too long. So yeah, it's pretty long. I'm gonna have to measure and see how many diamonds that we're gonna do. She left me some mulch and some drip irrigation. I told her I would put that on. Um, she left me a creme de cassis uh, um, dahlia tuber. So thank you, Olivia, very sweet. <laughs> and then I think these are two ivies that she overwintered from last year and took from her old house. I'm gonna have to text her and make sure that I can use these, but I think she said that I could um, use these, which would be perfect because they have nice long, tendrils is that what you say look at this so that we could get we could get somewhere with that right now that goes all the way up yeah so i will text her and see if she's cool with me using these two um in her new espalier Okay, so I measured her fence and it's about 38 feet long. And then from almost to the bottom of the ground, kind of where the ivy will start splitting um, to the top board, about right here where I feel pretty confident um, screwing an eye hook in and it will be really secure, it's 54 inches tall. So I've decided that I'm gonna do big diamonds um, half the width that it is high. So basically it's 54 inches high and it's 27 inches wide. And then I'm just gonna go all the way down the 38 feet and change um, to make a, an espalier pattern for her. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to start off on this end so that sh there's a full diamond over here so that when they're sitting out here in the backyard, they'll see a full diamond and then way over the uh, on the other side, um, if I have to do like a half a diamond, just, just um, size wise and, and fitting everything in that will be fine so basically with this technique you can decide how big the diamonds you want to do i mean you can do zigzags or triangles or anything like that it doesn't really matter it just kind of is what fits your space and so on the front wall of my house i thought that the smaller diamonds would look a lot better because it was just this blank wall with nothing on it and then in my side yard i did big diamonds just like i'm doing for olivia right here so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to get a sharpie and then i'm going to go through and i'm just going to measure put little marks where I'm going to pre-drill a hole. And then all I'm gonna do is pre-drill that hole and then hand screw in the eye hook. Very easy. So let's get measuring. Okay, so one thing I wanted to say is that don't be 
totally, don't worry about being completely perfect with your measurements. If you think about it, the ivy is gonna grow around and you're gonna have a little bit of leeway on either side. So your measurements don't have to be exact. I'm not a perfectionist. I don't think you can be a perfectionist in this situation. It'll drive you crazy. So this is a good example I wanted to show you. From my last mark over to here, 27 inches where I need to screw in another eye hook would have been right here in this knot in the fence. And there's no way that this is gonna support an eye hook or, any, or anything really, even a nail. Um, so I couldn't screw it in right there. So I just bumped it over about a half an inch just to the left and I'm totally fine with that. I don't think Olivia's gonna notice. I don't think any, I don't even think Jason who's a perfectionist would notice. <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you guys that so you didn't think that, oh no, it, you know, it was in between the fences or it was right where a nail is or something like that. Just kind of fudge it a little bit and then think about that the ivy or whatever plant you do choose is gonna be covering it and so it's, it doesn't have to be exact. So just wanted to say that. Here's all my supplies. And then here are the eye hooks that I found off Amazon. So they're not too long. I didn't want them to be too long um, because the fence isn't too wide. So just little ones. This is plenty, I think, for it to hold everything up. And then I need to get a drill bit that's smaller than this. So this is pretty narrow if you see that. So I just got to get a really small drill bit. Probably like that size. Can you guys see that? Actually, I might do even smaller than that. Let's just go with that one. All right, so I'm just gonna hook that up to my power drill, go through and then pre-drill all the holes that I marked with the um, uh, Sharpie and then just use my drill to go through and pre-drill everything, okay? And then I'm just gonna hand screw in all the eye hooks. Pretty easy. So this is measuring with step one. This is step two, pre-drilling the holes and putting the eye hooks. So we're on step two. So I have my pre-drilled hole right there, and now I just have to take my eye hook and then screw it in. And I, because I pre-drilled my hole, I should be able to hand screw it in pretty easily. Yep, just like that. All right, there we go. Bunch more to go. We're getting there, we're almost there. So we're on step three now. I've got all these eye hooks screwed in and now I just have to loop the wire around. And I'm afraid I didn't get enough. I probably should have gotten another one of these, but I'll just do as much as I can and then um, I can come back another day if I need to. So I have wire cutters right here. These are necessary if you get wire like this. Don't try and cut them with your pruners or anything like that. And then gloves are necessary as well. And I found that it's really so much easier if you cut this. Don't expect to go the whole length because it just gets um, like out of control. You, you'll see that it, it like wraps up and coils up on you and stuff like that. So I'll just cut it and wrap it around one of the eye hooks if I need to, just so I can start with a new shorter piece basically. So I'm gonna start on this side and get as far as I can all the way down the fence. So, 
basically I started it down here and then I looped it around itself right there can you guys see that and then I dragged it all the way through that one all the way through that one back down through this one and then looped it around itself again right there and then cut it off and it's just easier just to do little bits at a time um, so I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do each diamond like that and hopefully I'll have enough I am out of wire. So I should have got two of those rolls when I was at Home Depot, but I thought it was gonna be plenty. I just, I underestimated, so that's okay. I just, I don't have time to go back and get it today. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow to finish this project, um, but that's okay. I am really far, I'm, you know, way more than halfway done. The only thing I have left to do is finish putting the wire on and then just plant the ivy, which is super easy. So I'm probably just gonna go home, get some stuff done at home, uh, and then come back and finish this tomorrow after I get a chance to go back to Home Depot. So let me show you what I have done so far. Okay, so I stopped right there and then I just have that little ways to go left. So one more roll is probably gonna do it. I've learned my lesson, I'm gonna get two just in case, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm close, I'm almost done. Um, so I will be back tomorrow and I will pick this video up tomorrow. So see you guys then. Okay, you guys, so it's a couple days later. It's actually the weekend now, so you're gonna hear all the kids are here, Jason's here, Olivia's here, everybody's here having a good time. So you're gonna hear that in the background. Um, but I thought that I would just come and I would just finish everything up. I'm almost done. All I have to do is finish the wire on the diamonds for you know the, the rest of the fence that I showed you guys uh, last time I was filming. And then I just have to plant the ivy and put in the mulch and put in the irrigation. So it should not take me that long. Um, I'm almost done and then you guys can see the finished product. Uh, so like I said, there's gonna be, probably be a little bit of noise in the background, but that's okay, it's just the kids. The other thing I wanted to say is that when I was using my fingers to screw in these uh, eye hooks and I was doing it without gloves, don't do that. <laughs> I ended up getting a blister. I'm not even gonna show you. I got a blister on my finger and I didn't notice until I went home later that day. So just make sure that you guys wear gloves when you screw those in, or you can even take something like a screwdriver and stick it in the hole and use the screwdriver as leverage to, to screw that in. So learn from me and don't do that or you'll get a, a huge blister on your finger. All right, so let's get started. hear me because the next door neighbors are mowing their lawn and there's there's literally kids in like every single house on this street it's really cute it's such a fun place to come visit because they basically just like um, you know block off their street the beginning of their street and then the kids just play in the street it, it's it's really sweet uh, anyway so I am done with step three which is putting all the wire you guys can see all of that Okay, so that is all done. It took me um, like one and three quarters of one of those rolls. And this is, what did I say, a 27 foot fence? I'll put it down here, I don't remember, it was a couple days ago. Um, but now I'm gonna get to the fun part, which is planting. So I'm just gonna go through, the soil's not that good right here, it's kind of rocky. So I'm probably gonna um, mix up just some potting mix. Uh, Olivia has some garden soil mix. So I'm gonna mix up some of that. Um, and plant in little ivy plants and then just start kind of training them up the wire. So let's go on to step four.
you guys, I am finally all done. Honestly, in all, it probably only took maybe three, four, five hours, somewhere around there. Um, but I just spread it out, you know, and took the time hanging out with Olivia. Uh, Jason came and he helped me with the last little bit, putting the mulch down and stuff like that. So thank you, Jason. Uh, but let me show you guys the final product. Okay, hopefully you guys can see with the, the um, shade is, let's see, it's about 1230 right now. So it's just starting to get shady. And I'm actually excited about that because when I came the other day, I only came in the afternoon and I thought it was full shade, but it's actually going to get a little bit of sun. So that just means this ivy is going to grow that much more quickly for her. So it's going to grow up this espalier and it's going to look gorgeous. And eventually it's going to be kind of a chore for her to keep it controlled, but she said that it's okay. Um, and it's worth it. I'm sorry. I think it's worth it. <laughs> so you can see these big ones right here. These are the ones that she had in the pot that I divided up. And so those are obviously going to grow really quickly. These you can see, I'm kind of standing over by where her, um, her furniture is. So those are the ones that you're going to see the most. And then after that, I started putting in the ones that I bought from the store. I am one short, uh, where was it right here? I'm one short right there. So what she's actually gonna do is uh, take cuttings, which is really, really easy to do. She's actually just gonna take the lower leaves off and stick it in water for roots. And then um, that's all set up on drip and has soil in, so she just has to stick it in. Really, she could just stick the cutting right in there, um, but uh, she won't have to worry about watering it all the time if she, if she roots it in, in water first. So you guys can see there's little baby ones. Well, hopefully you guys can see. Let me get in the shade. There you go. There's little baby ones there and they're just going to grow up the wire. I'm really sorry about all the excess noise. There's tons of kids here right now, um, but it's going to be really pretty once it all starts growing. All right, you guys. So I ran into the back of the house because the kids were just, <laughs> they're just having too much fun basically, which is great. It's wonderful. I'm glad, but it doesn't bode well for filming. <laughs> so I'm in her backyard right now and you can see she's got her uh, flower boxes her husband made for her. And then Olivia also inherited all these rose bushes when she moved into this house. So I'm really excited for her. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're about to start just flushing out with color. So it's going to be beautiful. So I'm all done with that espalier, uh, ivy espalier on the side of her house. I think it's going to be amazing because it's just a spot that most people would, you know, you would just ignore the spot over by your garbage cans. And now, you know, once it grows in, she's going to have something that's so beautiful and it's, it's just going to dress up. You know, here in California, we, a lot of, some people do, but a lot of people don't have huge properties. So just dressing up and, and taking advantage of every square inch that you own, it is, it makes a huge difference. So I'm really excited to do that for her. I hope she likes it and I will definitely keep you guys updated as it grows. I'm sure she'll let me come back and film. So, um, you know, this, the espalier, it can dress up a fence. It can dress up a wall. Um, I, I even did it on my stuck siding and on the back of my house I did my bougainvillea um, it, it wasn't really an espalier I just put the wire up so the bougainvillea would have something to grab onto but I did the diamonds anyway and for those I just pre-drilled a hole um, with a with a mason I think that's what you call it, a mason drill bit um, and then put an anchor in and then put the eye hook just like I did for the fence so exact same thing um, you know it, it's actually it's really easy so let me know if you guys have any questions go ahead and put them in the comment section and i will respond as best i can remember i am not a professional i'm just an amateur this is just something that i love to do so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did and want to see more videos please consider subscribing and i hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today mm -hmm.